Worker unions at the Simon D. Dondombo University of Business and Integrated Development Studies embarked on a strike on August 2nd this year over a decision by the Ghana Tertiary Education Council, GTEC, to migrate them onto the payroll of the Controller and Accountant General Department, which they claimed would lead to a significant reduction in their salaries and allowances. The workers had complained that GTEC had refused to adhere to a directive by the National Labor Commission to halt the process. The unions, however, decided to suspend the strike on August 17th this year, following the signing of a memorandum of agreement between their leaders and the Minister of Education. The agreement proposed that all migration processes should be halted until some conditions are met. The unions at the time in a statement expressed appreciation to the Minister of Education for his intervention in resolving the matter. However, the worker unions, including the local chapters of the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG, Ghana Association of University Administrators, Senior Staff Association, Universities of Ghana, and the Teachers and Educational Workers Union, on Tuesday reignited their industrial action, blaming the Education Ministry for failing to implement the agreement. We are embarking on the strike simply because uh, in August, you remember that we undertook an industrial action and were invited by the Minister for Education. Thereupon, a memorandum of understanding was signed to the effect that controller was going to install the software in the two universities, that is SD Dombo and then CK Utah's Nevrango. Consequent on that, four months down the line, they have not installed those softwares. The other agreement that was signed was that we will, the workers in the two universities, that is SD Dombo University and CK Tedem, were going to still be receiving their salaries from UDS Tamale. Consequent on that, this salary arrangement has been very problematic. What we realize is that usually UDS will arrange and pay their staff and now they will now wait for government to release the subvention for them to pay us, which often takes about two weeks into the following month. As we are speaking, as of today, 16th of November, some colleagues have still not received their October salary. So last week, we wrote a petition to the minister at least to evoke his actions to bring to bear some of the officers that have refused to comply with the memorandum of understanding. Till date, we have not yet heard anything. Following that, we also wrote to management to give us a roadmap as to how we will be paid going forward. Well, workers didn't want the situation where the month will end and we will know where our salaries will be paid. So we wrote to management and until yesterday, the explanation they gave us was not convincing. Well, as of now, we don't even know when we will get our November salary. So following that, we had a general meeting today. And members unanimously agreed that we should continue with the strike. So that is why we have reactivated the strike that we suspended in August. He maintains that the strike will be in force until their demands are made. It's indefinite because as of now, we, we requested for two informations. One, we want to know when controller will come and install those software, train the officers in the directorates, the finance directorates, and then to test run the system. Secondly, we also want a roadmap as to when we will always receive our salaries, not later than 30th of each month. So these are the two uh, uh, reliefs that we are seeking. If by tomorrow they call us and then they give us a roadmap and we meet our members and they agree, we'll call off the strike. Meanwhile, the strike is envisaged to affect academic work as the school from Monday 15th November resumed teaching and learning for the academic year. For now, union members of the SD Dumbo University here in WA are demanding government to address their concerns before they will go back to the classroom. Reporting for City News, my name is Latif Mahama. Wah. Wow.